welcome to the camper van. A few months ago, me and a couple friends, we spent three days traversing across mid Wales on the well-known Trans-Cambrian Way. Now this is a 100 mile trip that we completed on bikes. The official route starts in Knighton uh, on the English and Welsh border and we finished it in McCunflith. This is a story or this is a collection of footage from, from those three days. Uh, with three lads and their bikes with uh, not a map in sight just making up as we go along so um, yeah enjoy <laughs> you can't get it right that all right man oh, let's do it okay where are we going Good morning, Kieran. You ready? Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Gambas. You ready for your day? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, on the bike. Oh, my bad. Of course, pissed off already. What, are we one kilometer in? First tire stop of the trip. Walking already. Nothing funny to say. What's this, our first bit of den? No. We thought it was, but it's actually yeah, fucked off. Ah, oh, it's just disappointing. It's just okay. Fucking shit check the lower this one. Yeah. Force mechanical failure. Big fat chain snap. Joe mechanic. Well done. What a legend. Right. happy to hear we have reached 23 and a half miles so we are half so miles. we've been doing like the same mile for the last hour so that's that's top it's all downhill that's brutal <laughs> we'd be on like, <laughs> i thought we'd be on like 27 or something at least <laughs> we're literally half there aren't we? and we've been riding for what, seven hours <laughs> well, we might as well not waste any time <laughs> yeah that was a tough going last my quad's on fire
over at Dland Valley. Can't say ahead. Boys up front. I think that there's public toilets there in the stone building. The shelter there, we're right by the river. There's a place to camp. We're in the valley. We left our campsite that morning from Nathan and headed out to explore remote Wales. We were following the GPS route we'd just downloaded the night before and we knew we had to cover 40 miles that day. We had no idea we needed to ascend every hill between Nathan and Elan Valley. We were having a fun time getting to intimately know our heavy bikes. Despite getting lost, we still found time for a few beers for rolling into our camp, ready for day two. Day two. Three miles in. This is where we are. Ready for some downhill. That's a good, good mile there. That's an easy mile. Back to climbing. the plan for us. We're gonna go down the road to Dart Hill the way past and then we'll head right straight to the pond between points. Done. Happy? I agree. Mm. If not just like a white base it's like whole rain on us now. Yeah. Really nice. <sighs> Back on the road. Claiming hills. How are you feeling after that down? Fun, yeah, yeah. exhilarated. You having a good time? Having a good time, but I mean, I'm, I'm struggling a wee bit. <laughs> seven, seven, feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm going for an eight, I'm coming. Oh! You said six if you just didn't say seven and eight. So that's just boosted it? Yeah, like seven and a half. I think I might have a blister on my eye. Yeah. That's the one 
there. Yeah, it's nice. Alright, you can't say over there then, is it? Yeah, I'm just seeing a vocal beat of the turbine, that's quite loud. Day 2 started with stiff legs, sore arses and threw us immediately back into big climbs. Through dramatic scenery we enjoyed dirt tracks past the reservoirs. And spirits were high as the miles went on through some really rugged and remote terrain. We were finally getting used to our loaded bikes. After a big lunch we got back into some single tracks and a small patch of forest. Before going on to battle a headwind through the old mining valley. We eventually called it enough after about 30 miles of riding that day and spent the night in the trees. The climb to start. Taking it easy. Body's a bit sore. Still we fish. That's a bit techy, that. It's techy, but I don't know, we've had some good taste of things. Go on, big lad! <laughs> Whoa! Yes, it's stunning! Oh, I love the place now. This is the last big, last big climb, we think. Big, last big, big climb, yeah. What's wrong with me? No back brake. High saddles all the way. Knee doesn't work. Knee doesn't work. Crack in the Day 3 was another big 30 miles through further remote terrain. We were soon enjoying swooping descents and suffering fewer climbs in between. We could feel the trip coming to an end. We did eventually get word from some of the locals that Dovey Junction's trains were off that day, and so we improvised a route straight from a Cunthleth, but not before we enjoyed one last epic descent. We arrived at the train station stinking and tired, but we were ready to celebrate having completed our first multi-day bikepacking trip. <laughs>